end of summer is starting to linger in the air here. The mornings are crisp and the evenings are chill and my soul is just ready for autumn. We spend our summers here in Idaho chasing adventure and I can just feel myself getting ready for a cozy season. This is truly one of my favorite times of year. I love to reset and reflect with the seasons and winter is actually one of my favorite seasons. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion. And because fall means winter is on its way, I just absolutely love embracing this change in this time of year. Things start to cool down, days get cozier and cozier by the minute, and after five years on the road with my husband and our dogs, we officially have a house to decorate for the autumn season, and I could not be more excited. If you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know I am an avid thrifter and I'm very big into the holidays. Even when we did live in tiny spaces and transitional lifestyles, I always made it a point to still make time and place for filling our home with things that reminded me of the season and really connected me with nature. And I'm fully planning on continuing to do that in the home. And I'm so excited to have so much more space to curate a cozy atmosphere for ourselves this winter. Starbucks has officially put out their pumpkin drinks, which is the first signaling of the season. And usually I try and hold out a little bit longer, but the temperatures dipped this week and now I just can't resist. It has since warmed back up. We got our like first false fall, as I like to call it. I don't know if you guys have this where you live, but it always gets me so excited and I never can come back from that first day that feels like fall. Like once that happens, it's full send in this house. So today we are decorating for fall and I'm bringing you guys with me, of course. Earlier this week, it dipped down into the 60s and 70s during the day, and today it's back in the 90s. But like I said, I already got the fall itch. So I always try and keep some fall to summer transition pieces in my wardrobe. I thrifted this really fun skirt a couple of years ago. It's got autumn leaves and just really feels like fall, but it's a very lightweight fabric. To be honest, I really just lean into fall colors all year long. So I just paired it with a little tank top, and I feel like it's the perfect fall to summer outfit and i can't wait to get the rest of the house up to speed my neighbor was getting rid of this beautiful vintage truck. it's been the perfect place to store my like ceramic decor items i like to keep them somewhere stable so they don't get broken after a couple years in the van i had lost a few things tragically so i keep most of my halloween fall things in here and anything absurdly breakable and then I have a few Christmas bins in the garage. I definitely have more decor wise for Christmas than I do for fall. But I like to do an inventory for the year before I get started. And for a little extra magic, I ordered some floating candles to place around the TV. Oh, they're cute. Ah, so fun. I've always wanted to do this. 
These at the thrift store the other day, you guys, and I think these are just the funniest things. Oh, oops. That one can Good morning. Happy Sunday. We had such a cozy night last night. The floating candles severely elevated the Harry Potter experience. 10 out of 10 recommend. I'll probably leave those up for Christmas too. They just felt so magical and it there's like a hair stuck in my eyelash. <laughs> I've just been sitting at my desk getting some computer work done. As much as I am really ready to embrace slowing down for the season, we're just kind of in a very busy season of life right now. So I've really been enjoying trying to curate some slow intentional moments in my busy days. So just knocked out some work this morning, but I'm ready to get back into decorating. I still have a couple of things to put out this morning. And then we might run to Michael's. I wanna get some mums for outside but it gets cold here really quickly this time of year and i don't want them to die so i'm looking into maybe getting some artificial ones josh is taking me on a little brunch date to abracadabras so that felt especially magical as well much better This is pretty much all I have left, the entryway table and just a few bits that I need to find a home for. I thrifted this, this will go out in the garden, this will be so cute. I thrifted some ribbon, I'm thinking I might hang a bow on the vent hood and then I have a wreath for the front door but I'll have to go grab some command hooks. The Target dollar section had this really cute picture frame and I loved this velvet green tone and I have the perfect picture of Paxton that I want to put in here. This is one of my favorite thrift finds of the season. This is so stunning. I believe it's like a candle holder, but I thought it would be a really cute ring dish. He is just too cute. And then I just found these two larger pumpkins. I tend to have to stray away from the plushy pumpkins. Unfortunately, my dogs are savages and will eat them. So glass or plastic seems to be the way to go in this house. I thrifted this little bunch of fall flowers for like three or four dollars. A couple of them have skeleton hands for closer to Halloween but I think I'm just gonna pull out some of this natural foliage and add it to this plant here. I also managed to thrift this one for like six bucks this week. The air conditioner kind of harshes my vibe, but I thought this was kind of like a cute touch. And then we'll add this one to our flower bed.
This floral arrangement ended up turning out so pretty that I decided to try leaving it in the living room. I work from home, so I don't think it will be too big of an issue, but we shall see. Bear's already seeming curious. I love to switch out the artwork in my gallery walls throughout the year, so I ordered some spooky prints on Etsy, picked them up at Walgreens, and swapped them out throughout the house. I feel like this really tied everything together, and I'm so excited to be celebrating fall, and I'll see you in the next one.